Hi, this is Jason from Gene Codes Corporation. Today, we're going to look at how to assemble a contig in Sequencher. This is the third video in the Tour Guide of Sequencher series. In our previous installments, we looked at how to import data into Sequencher and how to trim low quality data from the ends of your reads. The specific way you assemble a contig in Sequencher will depend on the type of data that you have. Here, we're going to focus on assembling with Sanger data with and without a reference sequence. In the project window here, I have some of our sample data. These sequences have already had the lower quality reads trimmed off of their ends. You can learn how I did that in the Sequencer Tour Guide Part 2 video. The first thing we want to do is click on the Assembly Parameters button, which brings up the Assembly Parameters window. Here, you can see that I've chosen the Dirty Data Algorithm, to optimize gap placement using realigner and preferring three prime gap placement, a minimum match percentage of 85%, and a minimum overlap of 20 bases. I'll click OK. To assemble, I highlight the sequences and select Assemble Automatically. Now you can see, instead of all of those sequences in the project window, we just see the single contig. If I double click on the icon, it brings up the overview view of the contig. Here you can see the position and orientation of the sequences that make up the contig. And here at the bottom is the consensus sequence for the contig. We'll look more in detail at viewing and editing contigs in a future installment of this series. If you are assembling to a reference sequence, the process is just a little bit different. In this case, I begin by right-clicking on the reference sequence and making sure that there's a check mark next to reference sequence in that menu. And you can tell if your sequence has been designated as a reference sequence because on its icon there will be this little capital R and when you right click on it there will be a check mark next to reference sequence. Now I'll highlight all of the sequences and select assemble to reference. And now when we look at the overview of the contig. We again see all of the reads that make up the contig and now we also see the reference sequence here in the contig, the consensus sequence of the contig at the bottom. Sequencer also has the ability to assemble by name and if you have NGS data you can use a number of different algorithms for either aligning to a reference sequence or de novo assembly. We'll look at each of these in future installments of this series. This preview of assembling in contigs and sequencer has been the third installment in the Sequencer Tour Guide series.